Hi, I'm Kevin Klein. Let's go inside Winnipeg City Hall, where at this moment the Public Service and the Mayor's Inner Circle, called the Executive Policy Committee, these are council members selected by the Mayor, are working on the 2022 City of Winnipeg budget. Now, we have heard many, many times, and we continue to hear it, that we have uh, the government's only balanced four-year budget. It's false. I'm sorry. There is zero truth to that in the sense that we budgeted for a balanced budget. We have to. It is legislated that the city cannot run a deficit when it comes to its operations. We, we're not allowed to have that. But what has this council done? Other than saying we have a four-year balanced budget and that's what's helping you, we've emptied the piggy bank. Yes. We, when we have a deficit, have to take money from our financial reserve fund. And that money goes to pay the deficit off so that we don't have a deficit and we're not in violation of the law. And we've done that a couple of times over the last few years. And we're going to have to do it again in 2022 more than likely and again in 2023. And in fact, this council, this EPC, this mayor has drained, siphoned over 50% almost of our financial reserve fund, gone for the so-called balanced budgets. This is a problem that we have and this is a problem that we're walking into as one person ends their term and a new person is going to have to take over. There's going to be zero in the way of being able to run deficits and take from the financial reserve fund. The financial reserve fund again is required by law to be at a certain amount and we've siphoned over 50% of that away since the last election. How's that possible? Well, some will say COVID. Okay, well last year when COVID hit, the federal government gave us $70 million. We got money from the provincial government. Where did all that go? What cuts have been made during COVID? Did we give raises every year to executives during COVID? Are we hiring new executives? Yeah, we added a new executive position. This, these are the items that concern me about the budget. It's not that I want to be negative and just be the only person who votes against it. I don't agree with it. I don't agree that we continue to follow the status quo and just take money from our financial reserve account and put it towards the budget so that someone can say we have a balanced budget. Well, we're required to have a balanced budget. It's not your win. It's the law. We need a council, an EPC, whatever, to, to look at the reality and look ahead in our budget. What services are going to have to be cut? We're talking about the firefighters contract and how great that is. 2% over the next two years, 2% uh, one year, 1.9, 2% the third year. So we're negotiating it again in three years. How much did that cost us? Because I've asked that question. In fact, I sent an email today because I'm concerned about a $30 million lawsuit that's going on right now. The city of Winnipeg is being sued by Parker Lands for $30 million. I'm not reading about that in the media or seeing it on TV or hearing it on the radio. This is a big deal. From what I understand, speaking to those that have been in the courtroom, there are some pretty damning emails coming out. It's not looking great for the city. How do we pay that $30 million in the next budget? If we lose, we have to pay the 30 million. I guess we can appeal it and try to drag it out, but that just costs us more and more because we're gonna to have to pay more legal fees. We're gonna to have to pay the expenses of the other side if we keep appealing and so on. $30 million, where's that gonna come from? We make plans, we tell you how great it is, and a lot of it is contingent on getting funding from other levels of government. So we have someone to blame. We need to walk away from that status quo of doing business. We need to walk away from the status quo of operating city of Winnipeg. We need a new way. What do you want done? What, what services can you live without? What services should cost more? What services should cost less? What should we do about transit? What should we do to reduce our services? I don't think you're going to say add executives who make over 150,000, maybe $200,000 a year, plus, 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 parking, car allowance, or a car, and all kinds of stuff. 
That's why I'm going to do these videos at least once a week, a budget update. This is just to get us started. And I'm going to ask you a question at the end of every video, and I hope you will help me. The first question I'm going to ask you is what is important to you right now? We have to plan the budget and services are going to have to be looked at because we can't just take money from other areas that much anymore. What services are important to you? What are, what's your top three? Send them to me by email, kevin at kevinkline.ca or phone me. I would be happy to talk to you about them because that is why I'm here, to represent your interest and to ensure that you're getting your money's worth from the city of Winnipeg.